I'm in Rome, good fella. Hey, good fellas. I'm in Rome right now and I'm enjoying this beautiful city. I'm here for business. But what I want to do today is show you which pens I carry around when I travel. And later on, we're going to meet Marco from Novelli. We're gonna go into Novelli, discover what very cool pieces they have there in stock. Novelli is a shop that is there since 1950, so it's gonna be super fun to see. But first of all, I wanna show you what I carry around because it's important to have the right instruments whenever you go around. And it's part of the beauty of traveling is the fact that you can take your writing instruments with you, you can, you know, journal, you can reflect, you can write down any brainstorming ideas, anything that comes up to your mind. I carry my pens in this Visconti pouch right now, which I like because it's pretty stylish. It's, it has some size, so I always find it right away when I pick it up from the bag. It's in this very nice blue grained leather. What I also really, really like, and I'm gonna open it up and discover what I have, is the fact that you have card section here. I have no business cards in here, but actually this is awesome to put in business cards. Even, I don't know, you know, if, if you're going around with your pens, then you can put in your credit card, whatever it might be, and you have this pretty much as a lifestyle accessories to carry around. So that's what I really like about this pen pouch. I do not even carry it in the store, that's a funny thing, but I'm enjoying this very much for myself. Now, say that you saw, I'm a really bad person, I have in the pouch four pens, not three, and I've put my pen of the year just here next to the extra 1930 because I, I wanted to have all of three uh, pens with me. So what I carry with me this for this trip, I don't always carry the same pens. I tend to go on my table where I have all my pens and decide which pens I want to be part of this trip and companions for this trip. But in this case, I decided I want to pull up the pen of the year again and have it with me. I actually brought uh, with this one yesterday while I had a call with, with my lawyer and uh, it's an awesome piece, you know it, uh, limited with this beautiful turquoise on, on, on the top uh, and on the bottom. It's uh, the pen of the year Aztecs also with this beautiful uh, cap that looks like a cactus. Very complicated to produce, I told you this about this already and I really like this obsidian stone at the grip section and the pen really writes marvelous. It's a medium nib and I would say it's quite quite um, thick when you write with it, but I do enjoy it very much because it's, the flow is great. So whenever I am really brainstorming, I want to write down something pretty fast, then I know that this is uh, always a perfect choice. But then what I also brought with me is the Monte Grappa X1930 from the configurator in this beautiful ivory celluloid with the very cool metal trim the, that Monte Grappa just released. You can actually do this kind of pen on the configurator of Monte Grappa. Obviously, I love that the uh, 925 sterling silver trims get older, get this patina. They, you know, it's like the pen lives with me right now being in Rome and it kind of catches the essence of all places I travel to and of, you know, the, the essence of every time I pull it out and I use it. And I think that's a romantic thought about everything that is like, that gets a patina, that gets older and and becomes even more beautiful. This is a fine nib and uh, it's super cool to write with, but you know, like for me, pens are obviously to write, but they're also very cool accessories. So actually I enjoy taking this with me to pull it out whenever I have and like see people look at it and like asking what is it? And then I can explain, it's like a conversation starter. It's something that is interesting probably about me because they're, they're gonna think, okay, next time I'm gonna see him, he's gonna probably have something else. And you know, it gets them also hooked on fine writing instruments. That's That was my experience at least. Then what I brought with, well, before we go to that one, I always have one rollerball with me. And lately I've been always carrying around this Bon Bleu from Caran d'Ache, Le Mans, with this beautiful blue texture on the body. You know this pen well. It's a rollerball because I know that, you know, whenever I need something pretty fast and to be 100% sure it rides, this one really always rides. But I have to say, none of these have let me down. The Monte Grappa, I think there's not a lot of ink anymore, so that's my bad. But like Dinamiki, I haven't filled up for quite some time. Uh, Dinamiki, sorry. The Sailor, I haven't filled up for quite some time. And now we come to the fourth piece that I carry with me, which is this Iromiyabi in green Urushi, which is, I was telling you, like, I don't know when I filled this 
up last time, but I picked it up yesterday during a meeting, uh, not here, not a call, but like a physical meeting, and I started writing, and was writing right away. So this is something that is truly awesome about um, sailor pens, the fact that they truly, truly, truly never disappoint. They're super reliable, they're fantastic writer with a great flow, and you know, they're just so enjoyable to write with. This 21 karat gold nib, on, even on the King of Pen, even more, is simply astonishing. So these are the four pens I carry with me, and I always have my travel, the traveler's notebook, which was gifted to me from Yvette, a uh, friend of mine, and uh, I carry this one around all the time. I write, I write, check this out. I write all my thoughts, all my ideas on uh, these booklets, and uh, you know, it's. Oh, I got this one from Mont Blanc when I went at the Mont Blanc buying in Paris. <laughs> um, so I enjoy this one, uh, this one very much. I like the size of it. I like the style of it. Leather, so it smells very good. It smells uh, like leather, and um, and I think it's it's very handy to to pull it around and super stylish. And I like to go around even like this if I have not all around Rome, but like. You know, whenever I know I'm going, for example, down to the lounge for a meeting or so, then I take these two pieces with me like this, and I always feel super, super confident. So I'm wondering to know which pants you take with you when you're traveling. Like, what's your top three that you're gonna take with you for business trips? Hello, I know that a lot of you watching are business people. So let me know down in the comments, which pen do you usually use when you travel around? And also let me know if you're scared to, to take the pants with you when you're traveling. Personally, not at all. I have an insurance for it. So I'm super cool with it and you know, like I watch out for my pants. So I always make sure that they're still there. Now good fellas, we're gonna go out and we're going to check out Novelli, which is super cool. Let's go. Yeah, I'm on my way, almost arrived. It's in the super center near Fontana di Trevi. And I can't wait to show you. So Novelli is right next to Piazza degli Apostoli. Look at this beautiful building, crazy. Now we're heading to Monet. So you see on the right side we have old pens, on the left side we have old pipes. Matt is there, he hasn't seen me yet. He looks very focused on the computer. Let's do it. Ciao Marco, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing great, how about Fantastic. you? Fantastic, very good, it's good to be here. And uh, yeah, always good to see you. Also. Fantastic, no, thank you. Uh, Marco, so I'm here to show to all of our viewers your beautiful store. I'm sure that a lot of the viewers are your customers already, I, I can imagine. So. <laughs> because you are, you are a legend of the industry and uh, uh, I mean, later on you, you, you will have to tell us a bit about you were one of the starters of the e-commerce store. So I will ask you about that. Uh, Happy to answer your question. Perfect, perfect. Because it's super interesting. Good fellas, it's super interesting because Marco was really one of the, of the first. So we're, we're gonna ask him two, three things like about how he started. And uh, I think it's gonna be super, super insightful. But first, Marco, uh, I wanted to show to the people a bit the, the very cool things you have. So you specialize not only, but mostly on, on Italian pens, right? Like Aurora, Leonardo, yeah, Montegrappa. Yeah, we do a good job with Italian pens, not only, as you say, uh, but um, yeah, we, we have a good relationship, the, the very close relationship, the uh, fact to have, you know, to be able to get a good service from the, from the companies, from, from the Italian companies. Fantastic. Um, allows me to, you know, to give a good service also to the Absolutely. Um, e customer. Everyone always speaks very highly about you. So yeah. you, you've got to have some reputation. <laughs> <laughs> and so you see here we start like he, uh, Marco has uh, Leonardo. There is some Omas, huh? Yes. So if you're some looking... Some left from um, yeah. Rostov. Yeah, yeah, and you always try to get some yeah, whenever you can. I, I, I buy everything I can buy. <laughs> Fantastic. So if you're looking for Omas, you know Novelli is the place to go. And then there is Pilot, Lamy, Tibaldi, which have done some really cool, a bit more fresh products. This is, this is 
Marco, tell us just quickly the story about this pen here. I told you that I had one of these from the Augusta, the 50th anniversary, right? Yes, we made, uh, uh, we made, uh, we used the same celluloid for our 50th anniversary in uh, 2001. Uh, that was my father's favorite color from the old uh, Patrician celluloid. And uh, this is pretty similar to that. Um, and for our uh, 70th anniversary, we decided to use the same celluloid in a different shape. So mm -hmm. this is round, that was uh, fascinating. Fantastic. Uh, and we still have a few pieces left. Very nice. Yeah, I remember uh, buying one of these, of the Augusta, and uh, I remember seeing that Novelli name, and I didn't know you back at the time, so Novelli has always been a name in my mind because of that. And that's a pretty yeah. fun thing, right? That how exactly. your name went all over the world thanks to the product and the... Really good um, cooperation with the Visconti at that time and this time as well. Fantastic. And you do often like special collections yes. and ebonite pens and, and you even have... Can I say that? You even have a Montegrappite that yes. is a Novelli Montegrappite, right? Yes, um, Montegrappa uh, designed for us a specific color uh, on which I have the exclusive. Uh, we made a small selection that we sold and we are going to reorder some more pieces. Very nice. It's always of good when it gets sold. The same color, yes. Very that's, nice. Uh, that's unique. Very cool. You can find it only, only here. Yeah, perfect, yes. perfect. So you see, guys, we have Montegrappa, the beautiful Inferno of Montegrappa. You know how many I sold of this one, but I'm sure that Marco too. Um, there is a, a very nice cabinet with uh, Aurora uh, pens, which are always very nice. Uh, here we come to Scribo. Actually, I'm going to go to, to see Scribo tomorrow in Bologna. You'll, you'll meet Luca. Yes, yes uh, exactly. A wonderful person, a good friend. Very nice. So you know Luca very well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Perfect. I, very well. I will be meeting him for the first time tomorrow. You, you, you will love him. Per sure. Perfect. And then we have Pelga. Oh, Marco. What is this? That's a maquillage. Well, I know what it is. No, 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 no I mean, Sorry. it's good you answer. It's good you answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me show it to you. That's, um, you know how difficult it is to find a maquillage yes. nowadays, a Pelican maquillage nowadays. I was happy to receive it from uh, Pelican Italy. Fantastic. Look at this good fellas. Look at this. Absolutely astonishing. 3,700 euro, 123 pieces, right? Yes. And it's based on the M1000, right? Yes, it's a 1000 with the eight, uh, number eight uh, name. Look at this artwork. I always love, do you you like the, the Pelican Maquillés, the quality of the Pelican Maquillés? That's my uh, favorite uh, Pelican line, of course. Yeah. Uh, I, I always love Maquillé, I have to say. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Single, uh, the delineation and the brand, uh, but yeah, but how it, um, uh, it is on the Pelican, I think the, the size of the thousand, yes, on the Maki on the Maki is always uh, really, really absolutely. I absolutely agree with you, Mark. On that, as possible, and unfortunately, I can't get enough. I, I can imagine, no, no, it's for me, it's the same, so I totally, yeah. totally understand. Then I saw that you back there, you have some very nice Dupont, Este Dupont. Yes. The lighters. We do a wonderful job with uh, with Dupont as well. Can you show me the revolver and also the the um, Space Odyssey? Uh, yeah, but, but the lighter. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yes, yes. The, I never, I've never seen the revolver live. This beautiful wood. Absolutely, very interesting. Look at the, at the and the details, details, the engravings. Yes, 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 absolutely amazing. awesome. And the clip, oh, really, really yeah. astonishing. Yeah, huh? they, they really, they are very good with the product design, with the product development. Totally uh, agree. And look, slider. look at this. Uh, it, that's really like a piece of art. I mean, you don't even have like to be, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be related to smoke because this is like, I think Dupont lighters are really gadgets and work of arts pretty much, right? Yes, with the 
you know, especially with their limited editions, they, their creativity is always really, really good. Oh, look at this. It's more than, uh, of course, than the single product there. This would be probably something for Sandro because he always says he's going to the moon. Yeah. So that would be something for him. <laughs> he already owns an astrograph, which yes. I, I heard it came from you. That's crazy. He probably doesn't even know. I will send him this video and then uh, I will tell him about it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I was uh, happy to, to provide him even if uh, it, not directly. Yeah, exactly. It was a gift to him. So fantastic. Very nice. Very nice. So Marco, now I have a question and I'm a bit ashamed of it, but I've never had the chance to try a Scribo. I know that they're very, very good writers because a lot of customers told me so. But so be, before I go to Scribo tomorrow, I want to make sure that I try the Scribo. Happy to help you with it. Let's go. You see this Scribo, I really like the design of Scribo, but Marco yesterday, um, when we were on the phone, told me that Scribo um, does some really, really nice, uh, uh, like nibs and that the experience with the flex uh, and, yeah, and even their norm. Was, uh, um, trying to uh, let you try. This is an extra fine, flexible nib. Uh, in my opinion, they have the best uh, flexible nib on the market. Um, the same use for the, in the past years for um, the Oma Spence and the quality of their flexible nib to me is really, really good. That's what I'm, I would like to, uh, you to try. Let's try it. Okay, time has arrived for me to try a, a Scribo pen, uh, Marco. Yeah, you, I'm sure you're going to have a good experience. I'm not a big flexible fan uh, and, and writer, but now I'm still wondering to see the experience. Try to use different pressures on your pen because this is you're writing now as a fine or an extra fine. Exactly. And but what I really you... love about this flex for now is the fact that I can write fine. Yeah, fine and, or extra fine. Or extra yeah. fine. And now we'll go a bit more flex. Yes. See? Fantastic. Okay, I totally you, agree. You can even go more, more, um, yes. Oh, exactly. You can even push more. And yeah, you can write up to double broad, tri even triple broad, but, from an extra fine. But I'm really like, I have to say like, I like the, the flex nib of Mont Blanc, but they, the, the, what is with the flex nib of Mont Blanc is that when you want to write normally, like it doesn't write well, uh, I, have to, I have to say. But the flex is very well made. Yes. I mean, the flex is very yeah. good. But this, I can actually use normally to write. Uh, I like to write my name, with the design trick, <laughs> but um... yeah, you see, it's always it's writing. It's it's writing perfectly clean. Now I'm not a big as I told you, but it's <laughs> really is a fantastic. See, 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 yeah. Yeah, if if you want to write triple broad, you can. This is why normally with the flat snip, I suggest uh, to not buy more than a fine. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it would be Look at this too sense. much. And I, and I love the shape of the pen. Yeah, tomorrow Luca will, um, will tell you. Um, they decided to use um, um, 12 facets, just mm -hmm. like Omas, uh, but they didn't want the pen to look too much like Omas. Yeah, and it's true, it doesn't um, look like an Omas, actually. No, I mean, exactly. it has a bit of the exactly. Bolognese spirit. Huh? E exactly, so to me, this uh, this shape, the shape of the field, really is a um, really good combination of their heritage, because uh, for those who don't know, who doesn't know, um, uh, Luca and his company Scribo uh, comes from uh, 
from the same uh, uh, people who were working for us. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to, you know, to offer the almost heritage mm -hmm. to to the consumers without making another Omas, you know, giving to the pen a different uh, style. Mm -hmm. And and to me, this is a really good, uh, um, a really good pen. I mean, really. I look I absolutely agree can I ask you just one more thing can I also try is there also like a normal medium nib uh, yes in 18 carats yes sure. can I try it quickly yes, I have to pick it up pick it perfect up. <laughs> so this is um, another uh, feel grigio notte very nice Yes, very nice um, trim. Uh, this is with 18 carats nib, medium size, uh, root and included. Mm -hmm. So let me prepare it for you. Please. There we go. Okay, look at this good fellas. Very nice. Ergonomic design. Light. Yeah, light. That's <laughs> cute, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It really does. A bonite fit, so you, you never have any problem with the, with the flow. Piston filler. Very nice. See? Mamma mia. Bella. Really amazing. A very, very soft riding experience. Really nice. And I love this color too. Oh my, look at this. Yeah. Oh, available at Noel, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not for, it was really for trying, but we also do some ads for you, yeah. Marco. <laughs> No, really cool. Thank you so much, Marco, for uh, for showing me these two pieces. So it was amazing have, having the chance to come here. Obviously, like this few minutes are not uh, enough. Obviously, this uh, few hours uh, in the store are not enough. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's really astonishing what you have and the expertise. Now, before we leave, Marco, you have to tell us about the story of the e-commerce because uh -huh. you were one of the absolutely first to start with e-commerce back in uh, 1997 yeah so tell me briefly like well, how did it happen and how did it work also in, in these <laughs> early years um my my father um, my grandmother opened the shop in 51 uh, so we have always uh, had uh, uh, the shop. My father uh, continued her um, uh, business. And I was uh, 24 years uh, old and I said to my father, let me try. I mean, um, I, I didn't know anything about the internet, computer, nothing. I mean, uh, but you know, um, I came here, I say, well, you have a wonderful stock, uh, really good stuff. Uh, why don't you let me try um, to, to build a website and offer everything? No problem. Um, so I just started with, um, uh, at that time, uh, um, Office, the, of, the Office package had not only Word, Excel and so on, and yeah. PowerPoint, they also had a program called uh, From Page, which was for people like me who to create to, websites to create websites mamma mia uh, so what very very easy of course uh, i mean uh, the the quality was not uh, yeah it's not today so i just took uh, all the printed catalog that we received from the from the companies um, scanned them i mean i bought a scanner i didn't have a scanner at the time i only had a fax <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe some people here don't even know what a fax is. Yeah, you know? probably not. Right? You know, someone will explain it later. Uh, yeah. Fax. But um, yeah, so I, I just uh, scanned the catalogs, put them online and offer my products uh, on uh, online. At that time, 
uh, I think I was the second in Europe offering uh, pens online. So nobody was on the market. Fantastic. Um, so it worked out pretty well. That's what you don't want to say. It worked out pretty well. Because you were having like our orders from USA because people wanted to buy pens online. And like you were one of the very few doing so. And Asia as well. Asia, of course, yeah. Not, not, not too much from China. But, but more Japan, Korea. Japan, Korea. Okay. Yes, and Middle and, East a little bit. And you told me like they would... S like right, like uh -huh. uh, we me. didn't we didn't have a system for the world to accept credit cards. So because it was really new. I mean, it was something that they invented uh, just recently. So it was pretty much an online catalog, actually, like yes. a presentation so, of pens. So what they did to buy from me was to uh, fill in a form, to print a form that they put online, to uh, fill in uh, by hand, just writing. Um, name uh, and address, uh, name of the pen, of course. Model. Name. And they had to write by hand their credit card number Christ. that I was able to process by hand here at the shop physically. So the amount of trust someone has got to have in order to send your fax with it was, it's crazy. That was pretty good. I mean, today was, was, I mean, could not be possible. No, you know, no, no. You, you couldn't trust, you couldn't. But at that time, it was how things uh, worked. No, but fantastic, uh, Marco. Yeah, it was like that for a few years and of course, we really developed. Yeah, of course, of course, and it changed also it's very changed, much. And now it's totally different. But I mean, we have a pioneer here okay. of what you know today as a, the e-commerce market for luxury pens. Marco was one of the pioneer. And I mean, he started when he was like 24, yes. doing all of this thing. And I mean, it's truly awesome. And thank you for, for telling us about, about it, Marco. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Marco, I'm done. I thank you so much. Now I'm headed to Bologna. I'm gonna do a second video where I'm in Bologna. And uh, I wish you best thank of you luck. Thank you, Luca. Enjoy your visit to Scribo. Thank you. I will surely do so. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon in Roma. See you soon. Ciao, see you, ciao.